sunlight starting to come out again today, which is nice. And what did I read today? I guess we got more details about that new DJI Neo drone that got leaked. So you've seen, for example, initially things like the price and indication on how there's things like a fly more bundle. So here is more details on what exactly it is. A 135 gram drone. Wow, I was expecting, for example, potentially oh, just make it right on the edge, for example, 249. But it makes you wonder how they got this one to be so light. And they do say here, it shoots in 4K as well. So is this, for example, a replacement for things like the Mini 2? That's my assumption anyways. And some other details you can see on the package is it looks like it comes with one of the regular standard controllers, not the ones with the built-in screen. Perhaps there is one as well in terms of a bundle. But you can see on the drone itself, on the top, there seems like there's options, for example, kind of like selfie modes and stuff like that where it seems like it's being inspired by the DJI Spark before. But overall, this one looks like it's a no-brainer for anyone who wants to, I guess, just get into it. It has like a built-in prop guard. It's that light. And with the price that we saw before, just a little over 300 US, it seems like it's reachable for a lot of people, huh? With the shape of the drone too, you'd think it would potentially be a good FPV drone. I actually would consider that actually, just based on the design and all that. But at the same time, it makes me wonder with the price that we currently know, what exactly did they sacrifice? I'm assuming the camera is nowhere near the quality of, let's just say, the more recent Mini 4 Pro, for example. But if it's something along the lines of the Mini 2 or the rebranded, that's what I call it anyways, the recent Mini 4K, then that's not too bad for the price. What would you think of this anyways? It seems like, again, it's a real good ideal beginner drone for people at minimum anyways. But with that in mind, as you know, in places like the US, they're thinking of passing laws that would ban things like Chinese made drones and all that, specifically DJI. So it makes you wonder if people would shy away from purchases that are specifically from Chinese manufacturers. But this one's kind of interesting. Apparently it says China is gonna start limiting, I guess, export of drones. This one says China adjusts restrictions on unregulated civilian drones that can be used for military purposes. China says it will prohibit the export of all unregulated civilian drones that can be used for military purposes or in terrorist activities and that certain drone features will be restricted as the East Asian country faces repeated Western criticism for its stance on the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Ministry of Commerce said Wednesday in a statement the decision was made to also prevent the use of drones in the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction adding that aspects such as infrared imaging equipment, lasers for target indication, and high-precision inertial measurement equipment will be placed on an export control list. Meanwhile, the ministry announced it was also removing temporary restrictions placed on civilian drones. It didn't specify which type, but last year Beijing restricted the exports of long-range drones while citing Russia's war in Ukraine. The latest regulations will come into effect on September 1st, so right around the corner. It says media reports and U.S. government intelligence have frequently said Russia has bought drones from China for military use. In April, U.S. officials who spoke to the Associated Press on condition of anonymity to discuss sensitive findings said China's sales to Russia have surged to be used against Ukraine and that both have been working to jointly produce unmanned aerial vehicles inside Russia. For that, I guess, phrase too of saying drones that can be used for military purposes, you could technically use any of them, correct? For example, someone could use it just to scout out the situation as a regular camera. So I would imagine that would literally mean virtually all of their products anyways. And it says drones have become integral in the Russian-Ukraine war. China is the fourth largest exporter of weapons in the world, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. After the US, France and Russia, the bulk of its exports went to Pakistan. SIPRI data shows while it also sold arms to states in Asia and Africa. And the last thing I read dealt again, I guess, with that news where apparently Team Canada in the Olympics used a drone to spy on Team New Zealand. And because of that, they were punished, but apparently they appealed it. And according to this anyways, I guess they lost. It says here, Soccer Canada appeal over points deduction in drone scandal dismissed. Canada's appeal against their soccer team's points deduction at the Paris Olympics amid a drone scandal was dismissed by the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CAS said on Wednesday. Defending champions Canada were docked six points while coach Bev Priestman 
and officials Joseph Lombardi and Jasmine Mander were banned from any soccer-related activity for one year by FIFA after New Zealand complained that Canadian staff flew drones over their training sessions before their opening match. And it says, quote, the application filed by the Canadian Olympic Committee and Canada Soccer in relation to the six-point deduction imposed on the Canadian women's soccer team for the football tournament at the Olympic Games Paris 2024 has been dismissed. CAS said, with the reason decisions to be published at a later date. So I guess for now, it's the end of that. Anyways, what a drama I guess this turned out to be for them, huh? Alright, see you guys later!